Hello, and welcome to the Allergy Awareness Challenge. Today, we are going to be walking you through this awesome program and showing you how you can use it at your high school. My name is Matthew, and I'm allergic to all nuts. Hi, my name is Arianne, and I'm allergic to peanuts and nuts. Let's get started. Today, you're going to learn what the Allergy Awareness Challenge is all about. Arianne and I are then going to walk you through the six easy steps to running the challenge at your high school. Anaphylaxis Canada's Allergy Awareness Challenge puts students head-to-head -head over three days of fun challenges. You will learn tons about serious food allergies while having a great time with friends. Participation is voluntary and all challenges are run outside of class hours. It can be run by students, teachers, students, councils, or others and all of the resources you need are available online right after signing up. Let's get into the fun stuff, the games. Adopt an allergy for a day puts you in the shoes of someone who has food allergies. There's also Food Allergy Jeopardy that features very tricky trivia. And let's see if you can pass the hardest spelling test of all, the Food Allergy Spelling Bee. That sounds awesome. You'll also receive some really important information on anaphylaxis and food allergies such as signs and symptoms of an allergic reaction, treatment, and how to help in an emergency. Great tips on helping keep all allergic students safe. Overall, the goal is to raise awareness about anaphylaxis by increasing students' knowledge, support, understanding, and adequacy. Essentially, you're making sure your classmates have your back. Plus, you can earn volunteer hours in the process. What a win-win. All right, let's jump into the steps of running the Allergy Awareness Challenge at your school so you have a better idea of how it all works. Signing up is easy. Just visit allergychallenge.ca and fill in all of your information on the sign-up page. You'll then receive a password to access everything you'll need to run the program at your school. Remember, you'll likely need permission from a principal or teacher supervisor before running the program, so ask them early on. After you've signed up, you need to download all of the resources for the Allergy Awareness Challenge. Simply visit the download page, enter the password you received after signing up, and download all of the resources onto your computer. You will receive materials on planning the activities, promoting them, information on anaphylaxis, the game materials, and wrap-up certificates and evaluations. Next up is printing and preparing. Once you've downloaded everything, have a good read of the materials. There's a really handy 101 guide to help you through running the whole program. You should work with your school on getting help with printing and photocopying, as well as selling on program dates, times, and locations. If you decide to have someone else help coordinate with you, divvy up who, who will do what. Build yourself a team of volunteers that will be able to help you out through each stage of the Allergy Awareness Challenge. It's now time for my favorite part, promotion. This is where you can have lots of fun being creative and trying to create lots of interest in the program. The key thing to remember is more promotion, more participation. You'll be provided with scripts to use at school assemblies and all over the announcements, as well as posters to use around the halls. Of course, you can get creative and think of your own promotions too. At that point, you're all set to run the challenge in your school. Each challenge has a similar scoring system, and at each grade receives one point per participant, so you want as many students joining as possible. 50 points will be given to the grade of the actual challenge winner. For instance, if your friend in grade 9 wins the Food Allergy Spelling Bee, all of grade 9 wins an additional 50 points. Be sure to print the game materials and rehearse ahead of time. The first challenge is adopt an allergy for a day. Students are assigned a food allergy after they spin the wheel of allergens. They are asked to avoid the allergen for a full day as they carry a marker around like an EpiPen or a deck of cards like an Allergic, while checking ingredient labels every time they eat. I'll take anaphylaxis for 500. And that might be one of the questions in Food Allergy Jeopardy, a three-round trivia competition where students will learn a ton of neat facts about allergies. You'll be given a PowerPoint presentation with all of the questions, as well as a master answer list. Playing the Jeopardy! TV theme song is optional. The Food Allergy Spelling Bee is a challenge that will really test your school. You thought the word anaphylaxis was tough to spell. Wait until you try the words in these five round challenges. 
Students will learn about the, both these new terms through their definitions. Good luck. Be sure to tally the scores each day of the Allergy Awareness Challenge and update the leaderboard. This is a grade versus grade competition after all. Of course, everybody wins when you're learning, but there is also an official winner of the Allergy Awareness Challenge. The grade with the most points over the three days is the grand champ. You can come up with your own creative prize for the winning grade. The last step is quick and easy, follow up. Volunteer certificates are available for download to give to your team of helpers. These will need to be signed by your teacher supervisor to confirm hours. You will also receive an evaluation form. Please fill in and distribute to your teacher supervisor and principal too. Your feedback will help Anaphylaxis Canada grow the Allergy Awareness Challenge. We have thrown a lot of exciting information at you. Let's review. The first step is signing up at www.allergychallenge.ca. Feel free to browse around and learn about the program first. After you've signed up, enter your password on the download page and save all the resources on your computer. Don't forget to get permission from your school principal. It's important that they okay the Allergy Awareness Challenge for the school as well as helping with suggesting a good date for the school to run it. Lastly, get a team of volunteers, then plan, promote, and run the Allergy Awareness Challenge. If you have any questions about the Allergy Awareness Challenge, get in touch with Anaphylaxis Canada or read the Frequently Asked Questions at allergychallenge.ca. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you found this information helpful on bringing the Allergy Awareness Challenge to your school. On behalf of Matthew and myself, bye.